Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the history of Mathematica Vlogs. Now, first I wanted to say a big thank you for 100 subscribers. This is a really big milestone and I didn't even think I would hit it when I started this channel. So anyway, let's get straight to this video. So let's start from the very beginning. It was a nice weekend and I had just released my brand new video called Intro to Mathematica Vlogs onto my two day old channel without my mom's permission. I rewatched it over and over and over again because I really loved it. Around three hours later, the impossible happened and my channel got terminated. What a bummer. I had and still have no idea why my channel got terminated. That day, I was traumatized by it. I thought I was cursed. And to add insult to injury, I was punished for releasing the video without mommy's permission. I gave up on YouTube for almost two months because I thought that I would never become a good YouTuber anyway. Now, on July 2019, which was two months later, I sent an appeal to YouTube. Then, they checked my channel and said that it was perfectly fine and didn't originally know why my channel was terminated in the first place. I was very happy and then I released a new video called The Difference Between Irrational and Rational Numbers. But I have since took it down because I was worried that I was actually spreading misinformation. That next day I released a new video called My PEI Trip 2019. Now when you watch the video, the first minute is muted because I was really overly worried that that the music would get my YouTube channel terminated again. The music was from the iMovie music library that had just came out at that time and I'm not taking any chances. Also, the reason why I couldn't just change the music to something else was because my iMovie project could not be retrieved because it's just so old and it's been a while since I had filmed it and edited it and then I just deleted it and then didn't know that my YouTube would come back. Now, the next day, I made my very first vlog which was just me going to Bayshore and discovering, then reviewing white peanut butter cups for the very first time. And when I look back at that video, I'm like, dude, clear out your throat. And also, <coughs> anyway, I quickly went into my analytics after I uploaded it and I saw that the video had five views. I was just sitting there waiting for the sixth view. I even once brought mom up because I thought that it had six views, but it still had five views. I was hallucinating at that time. Looking back at these old vlogs, I've had a lot of adventures, like going to Mont Cascade, going to Montreal, camping there, and watching fall colors. At the time, I was attempting to pump out a video every one to four days and would get eight views maximum on every video. In September 10 of 2019, I had just hit 10 subscribers and I decided to make a 10 subscriber special. I got two subscribers in three days from that video, which got me to 12 subscribers. I was doing great. Going from 10 to 20 subscribers was not really all that fast, but going from 20 to 30 was a huge success. On March 21st of 2020, I upgraded my setup and I was moving on from using an iPhone 5 and iMovie to edit my videos to using a DSLR camera and DaVinci Resolve to edit my videos. There was just one small problem on my first video with the setup and it turned out my microphone was set to the maximum. I tried to quiet it down in post, but it didn't work. At least this setup got me to 40 subscribers. And around there, my YouTube channel was nearing one year old. So I made a special video on my one year anniversary. My editing in After Effects was still kind of sloppy at the time, and the video was very poorly put together. The next video that I made was me hitting 50 subscribers. By then, I was very sick on how slow my laptop was because that was what I was editing with at the time. So I called dad and he said no but he did have an abandoned computer over at grandma's house. That may sound like scary, like really terrible, but for me it sounded quite okay. I meant anything but the laptop I was editing with. A week later when the desktop arrived, it was in really good shape. My stepdad had to upgrade the RAM in order to update it to Windows 10 because it was on Windows 7, and the RAM was upgraded from 4 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes. I made a video about those RAM sticks, and it led me straight to 60 subscribers. You may think I am going off topic here, but this 
led the pathway to improve on making videos and I got better. My more recent videos are more scripted now and I also got more fluent in what I'm saying. Back then, I barely edited down my videos. I went from that to heavily edited three minute masterpiece that is fun to watch over and over and over again. Anyway, so I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you loved it, please subscribe and I am going to see you guys in the next video. Bye!